Updated Q&A. What is it like being a YouTuber? You shouldn't do YouTube. Do you have a crush? Do you plan on getting a puppy? Just What's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Emily. You guys are the M Babes. Today's video is a really fun one. It's something I haven't done in a while. We're going to be doing an updated Q&A. So I asked you guys to give me some questions on my Instagram story a couple days ago. Actually, like a week ago. And we're finally going to answer those questions. But before we get into this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below, M Babes, to get a notification shout out. But you have to be subscribed and have the notification bell on, hence the notification shout out. And let's get into this video. Okay, so like I said, I asked you guys to ask me some questions, and I'm gonna get into them now. There's a lot of good questions. Question number one is, what is it like being a YouTuber? And that's a really good question. Honestly, first, it's amazing. I love it. I love making YouTube videos for you guys, and I love getting to connect with you guys in the comments and stuff, and see that like my videos helped you, or that you enjoyed my videos. Like That's honestly probably my favorite thing. It's also a lot of work and really stressful sometimes, but it like it pays off in the end. And it's also really exciting because I get to like make goals all the time, and keep working towards new goals, and achieving those new goals. Um, like right now, my next goal is 1.5k subscribers, and we're doing a giveaway when we get to 1.5k, so y'all should share this video with your friends and tell them to come subscribe so we can do a giveaway. Anyways, back on track. Um, yeah, I honestly love it. I think it's so much fun and it definitely is a lot of work and really stressful sometimes and sometimes kind of frustrating when like certain things don't go your way and like with editing and stuff. But in the end, I still love it. It's pro it's literally, it, it makes me so happy to make videos and like be able to talk to you guys like I said. And even like on Instagram, it's helped me growing my Instagram and getting to meet new people there and like seeing you guys interacting with me and each other. So yeah, it's honestly amazing and I love it. How did you tell your family that you wanted to start a YouTube channel? Honestly, I don't really remember. This was like last April. I'm pretty sure I was just like one day on my laptop like exploring YouTube, like how to become a YouTuber videos and I literally was just like, I kind of want to start a YouTube channel and then they were like, cool and I was like, cool. And that's literally all it was. It wasn't a big deal or anything. And like at first it was kind of just like for fun and um, just to like see what would happen. And like it wasn't super serious then. But then once I started like growing more, they were like, whoa, you're doing so good with this. And I was like, thank you. And I was kind of surprised too with like my original growth and stuff. But yeah, it was really chill. There was no like big like, you shouldn't do YouTube. Like it's so dumb. No, it was nothing like that. They've all been super supportive from the beginning. But yeah, um, do you have your belly pierced? If and if not, is it something you've considered? Um, I don't know. And honestly, no, I've never really considered it. I think it's kind of gross, um, <laughs> like, actually getting it on yourself. Like, I think they look really cool on some people. Um, I don't have an issue with them. I just personally wouldn't want one. Also, because of, like, horseback riding and stuff, it'd be so painful if it, like, got caught on something. And it's just never really been something that I've seen myself wanting or getting. But nothing against people who have them. I think they look really cool on um, people who have them. And yeah, I just don't have one. Um, all the piercings I have are in my ear. I have two cartilage piercings here and I have three here. But I don't really put earrings in here anymore. Are you slash do you want another dog? What kind of dog is Kai? So first of all, Kai is a German Shepherd. He's all black. He's a purebred German Shepherd. And I do want another dog and that's all I'm gonna say about that for now because I don't know. We'll see. Why did you start YouTube? I've definitely talked about this in my other videos, so if you want like a more detailed answer, go watch my other Q&As. But one of the biggest reasons why I started YouTube is because I had the time and I've always wanted to do something where I could like express myself and like put myself out there in the world for people to get to know me and stuff like that and like sort of make a following for myself and it's just never really something that I ever thought I could actually do. It was always just an idea in my mind for so long and then once COVID hit and I wasn't actually physically going to school and I didn't really have to work that much either. I just had a lot of time for it and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna take this time and do something that I'd be proud of in the future, like right now. So yeah, I was just like, you know what, we're just gonna do it, we're gonna send it, we're gonna make a YouTube channel and see what happens. And here we are, and we still have a long journey ahead of us. So yeah, that's pretty much why, a brief summary of why I started. Let's see, this isn't a question, but you're definitely going to reach 5K on YouTube this year, girl, girl. Oh, that's so sweet, thank you. That'd be awesome if I hit 5K this year. Would you rather meet one of your great grandkids or one of your ancestors? That's a very interesting question. I would want to meet both. If I could go back like a hundred years 
and meet one of my ancestors, I think that'd be so cool. So probably one of my ancestors. When will you do anything JD Fit Hall? Um, so I just recently posted a JD Fit Hall. If you didn't see that, I'll put it up here. But yeah, I have a lot of JD Hall videos, so probably not for a while because most of what I have is already in those videos, except for what I'm wearing right now. This is the new um, crop top, like the moss green color. Y'all should go buy it. It's amazing, I love it so much. It's super soft, super cozy, and like it's a really nice length too. Like it goes right to like your belly button, so it's not too cropped and it's not too long. Sorry, I just had to plug that real quick. And if you do go get this or anything from JD Fit, add my support code Emily Hughes because it'd be very much appreciated. Um, next, will you ever be able to give us more of a discount for JD Fit? So I hope so. Um, it depends when I'm able to become an elite leader, but that's probably not for a while in the future. But the answer is probably. I don't really know, but hopefully someday. Once I have more of a following and I can become an elite leader, then yeah, I'm pretty sure it goes to 20% off then. Um, who are your favorite YouTubers? So obviously JD Vlogs, probably Della Vlogs, and the LeBrant fam. Those are probably my top three favorites. I also watch like... A Dean, Emily, and yeah, that's probably my most favorites. How do you make your YouTube videos more natural and not sound as scripted? That's a good question. I don't script my YouTube videos, so that's kind of how I do it. I kind of just like get an idea of what I want to say and have like little talking points, and then I just kind of ad lib off of that. I don't really like reading from a script because, like you said, then it's not natural. Um, I kind of just like saying what's on my mind, but for some people, I know that's hard to do, so if you do script it, just don't script every single word you're gonna say. Just script like longer ideas, and that'll probably help you make it more natural you like read that you think about it and then you kind of expand off of that so it doesn't sound like you're just reading word for word from something but I don't script my videos at all like I said I just put like a little couple of detailed points and then I just go from there because that's what works for me like that doesn't work for everybody so if you're more of a you need to know exactly what you're gonna say I would suggest doing what I just said with just having a more detailed bullet point list and then going from there and do you have a crush Hmm, good question. And answer is no, I don't because literally don't know anybody. Like there's no way for me to meet new people right now because of COVID be and being online at school. So that's why I was excited to like go to college and like meet new people and stuff, but haven't really been able to do that. So long story short, no, I don't because I don't know anybody. <laughs> Anyways, let's go to the next question. What's your favorite thing about making videos for YouTube? Um, I kind of said this earlier, but my favorite thing is definitely being able to like read your guys' comments and talking with you guys in the comments and just seeing like how you liked my videos, if you didn't like anything, hearing what you didn't like and improving from it. And honestly, it's you guys. You guys are what make doing YouTube so much fun because I get to like see how my videos do, how you guys like them, and talking to you guys about it. So that's for sure my favorite thing. All right, let's do it. two more questions. We're gonna do... At what age you started your YouTube channel and what was the idea behind starting the YouTube channel? So I started it, I was 18 when I started it. It was just last April, it hasn't even been a year yet. But in April, it'll be my one year on YouTube. So if we get to 1.5K by then, that would honestly be the best like one year on YouTube little surprise for me. Um, anyways, sidetracking. Yeah, I started it when I was 18, and like I said before, I just really wanted to do something with the time we had during COVID, and like I said, it was something I've been thinking about for a while, and just trying to figure out, like, what my place is in the world, and how I can do what I feel like I can do the way I want to, if that makes sense, and I just decided that YouTube was the way to do that, so here we are. All right, another question. Do you plan on getting a puppy? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not gonna tell you yet because like I really don't know, but maybe. That's all I'm gonna say for that right now. All right, let's see. What would be your dream wedding? Ooh, that's a really good question. Honestly, it would definitely be somewhere like kind of tropically, maybe like Florida or something with like palm trees or just somewhere sunny and bright and like with lots of palm trees and it could be outside in the sun. Nice green field. Yeah. I don't know, just somewhere where there's a lot of stuff to do for like after and everything. And just, I love like gold chairs with like white seats. My theme would probably be like gold or like rose gold or something. I love those colors in weddings. Yeah, that 
is probably my dream wedding. Like just somewhere fun and fancy where there's fun things to do and just look really good. You know, everybody has to look good at their wedding. And my maid of honor and bridesmaids would look amazing too. Honestly, it's kind of weird. I haven't really thought that much about it. Is that weird that I don't really have like a dream wedding in my head, like planned to detail? I just have like vague ideas of what I would want it to be like. But yeah. Okay, I think that's all the questions we're gonna answer today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and getting to know me a little bit better. Um, if you want me to do more Q&As, comment down below and maybe I'll, in like a month or two, I'll do like a live Q&A. Should I go live and do this maybe? I don't know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at emilyhughes.com underscore to keep up to date on all my JD Fit stuff and just life stuff because I post more on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Just